What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the next early info test server video log right here, guys. Uh, where no gameplay is being shown because we don't have it yet, but tomorrow is going to be the day gameplay day for everything I'm going to show you right now. We have three new robots coming in called, uh, you know, three new spider robots, by the way. They have all a very unique or, or different ability, but they have one thing in common, as it says right here. They can suppress enemies. So, suppression is the new thing coming into world. War robots now basically what it does it disables no it doesn't fully disable but it weakens the enemy weapons okay when you are caught in a suppression effect then your weapons will lose like 70% of their firepower or maybe 90% it depends on which robot and which ability hits you and then there's a certain duration when it's when they're back at full strength okay so three new war uh, spider robots coming in suppression effect and uh, basically, the new robots gain different abilities, I have one thing in common, suppress enemies, that's what I've just explained. So the new robot invader is the first one, as you can see right here guys, this is, it looks pretty sick, it has a little bit of a, a little glowing eye in the middle there, four-legged robot, excels at initiating fights, invader can jump into enemies and drastically lower their firepower, strong hull and three light sl uh, slots allow it to stay under fire for a long time while drawing all the attention to itself. Strong hull, okay. Now, what does strong hull mean for a robot that has three light weapons? Let's go and see. Um, it means level 8, three light weapon slots, durability 261,000 HP at level 8. Alright, that calculates, or I calculated that it must be around 460,000 HP at Mark II level 12 without boosters. Alright, so imagine you have something sitting in front of you that boosts, that takes like a 500,000 damage to kill. Um, that's insane, okay? And then it has three light weapons, can deal a lot of damage with this, it's really fast. And then it can, excuse me, can also disable your weapons too. Wow, okay, that's all I've got to say about this for the time being. Uh, it has an ability, it's called Incursion. And Invader jumps then slowly planes down or smashes to the ground on your command. So same as the Mercury jump, where you jump up and you can land immediately when you like it, instead of just keeping flying like uh, Inquisitor does, for example. Um, so uh, on landing, Invader emits an electric impulse which temporarily damages uh, nearby enemies. Weapon Weapon systems significantly lower their damage output, okay? So that's the suppression effect that comes in. You land, boom, you trigger an area effect that is uh, on some kind of electric impulse that will deal a little bit of damage, but most importantly, it will deactivate, almost deactivate the enemy weapon systems because let's see how much deactivation there is. Um, like I said, 261,000 HP, 39 kph at level 8, so probably 41 or 40 at level 9. Incursion ability, jump on pla a a a plus plane or dry a dive on touch. Suppression impulse is also in the ability. So the suppression power is 90%. So the first robot invader, as it's called, with 460,000 HP at level 12 mark 2, uh, will have a 90% damage, you know, damage reduction on your enemy. So that's the suppression, and the duration is 5 seconds, so that's how long it holds until the weapons are back to full firepower. The reload time, 23 seconds. So, let's imagine you are a Orc Inspector, okay? This thing jumps at you, boom, attacks you, and hits you with the impulse. So what do you do, Nat naturally going to do? You're gonna do activate your stealth jump, okay? However, your weapons are now only 10% as powerful. So you activate your jump to, to not get killed, and now you jump up, you're basically immune right now for damage. You land down, but you can't fire, because if you use your Orkin rockets now, then you empty all your rockets and you will only deal 10% damage. So what you have to do, you have to sit there, wait for five seconds for the suppression effect to take, a, you know, to go okay, whoa, go away, and then you can start firing your weapons. Now five seconds is quite long sometimes, and we're we're comparing to a strong orc inspector. Now let's compare this to a robot who doesn't have a stealth ability. Uh, well, you get caught. Your weapons are almost completely deactivated. Three media, three light weapons gusts are you know punching the heck out of you, while uh, the enemy has 460,000 health. And uh, yeah, I mean, what do you do? <laughs> 
this guy's even fast. You can't even outrun this thing, and he can jump on you as well. So uh, that's pretty tough, if you ask me. So the first in impression of this is pretty insane, pretty strong, and something that can counter the Spectre. And when something can counter a Spectre, it must be powerful. And that's, I think, what they're probably trying to bring with this setup. Something that is powerful enough to, to stand up to a Spectre with Orkans or a Shock Train with Orc, a Spectre or whatever, right? All these super powerful, very dominant setups, this robot doesn't have to hide because it can actually keep up with them. And um, yeah, so that's a very interesting uh, <laughs> feature for now. Let's have a look at the gameplay tomorrow. Important, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so now, because I I, real, I still see that there's 60% people watching have still not subscribed to the channel. So, why aren't you doing it, guys? Come on, subscribe, please. Help me out with that subscription, and also you get notified for the gameplay tomorrow, when, you know, and on other live streams where we test these things that in detail, and try and have a real good review and analysis for them in action. So, let's go and move on to the second robot. It's called the Blitz, okay? That's this guy right here, and I don't know if I was you guys but for me that looks a lot like the, sh the Schütze uh, that we had in the game that was removed we still have it in my own account though um, this looks very very much like the sh uh, Schütze but it has a bit of a different body structure uh, basically it's an agile yet sturdy attack robot Blitz's ability allows it to soak in the damage and disable nearby enemy weapons which makes it an excellent close-range brawler Okay, the ability is called break in and blitz speeds up and temporarily activates an impenetrable Aegis shield. Uh, now the Aegis shield we already know from the ba from the uh, bulwark. It's actually not impenetrable. It just means it uh, it can't be you know no we weapon goes through and uh, as long as it's on, but you can destroy the shield quite fast. So after that, it will take damage. So the robot, right? Um, after short delay, it emits a wave that suppresses target in range and deals minor damage. The wave covers a wide area in front of Blitz and affects all enemies hit. So you can, let's imagine Dead City, King of the Hill, everyone runs into the center beacon to try to get the center beacon first, right at the start of the round. And, uh, and you run in with this bad boy, you activate this Blitz break-in ability, every guy in front of you, like all the enemy team pretty much, are now dealing only 25% of their damage, while well, your team can rush in, take the beacon, and call it a day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, let's have a look, wait a minute, how much damage did the uh, incursion ability do? It said uh, it, tr it deals damage to nearby enemies, but how much? I think it doesn't say that, right? Because here it says how much damage it does, but up there, there it doesn't say the damage. So we need to see tomorrow how much damage do with the ability of incursion on the invader uh, this robot also does, right? But for now, let's take a look at this Blitz. Level 4, uh, sorry, level 8, 4 light weapons. Like the Patton or like the, um, yeah, like... Um, uh, the Jesse that, well, the Jesse only has two at, at a time, pretty much. This thing here has four light weapons, so it's the only, the, the, the second robot after the Patton that is allowed to have four light weapons active at the same time. Um, so durability is 102,000, so it's a pretty good amount of HP for a level 8 light robot, I guess, um, if it's a light robot. It has a very high speed, also it's at 49 kph. This one was relatively fast with 39. This thing here is 49. It's even faster than a Spectre. I think it's probably at the same speed that the uh, Pursuer has. And if you activate the break-in ability, you get an additional 66%. Uh, that means you're gonna run around with... Um, like 80 kph or something like that, right? That's what we're running around with, man. That's insane. And the Aegis Shield will also activate when you activate the break-in ability. And it has at level 8 40,000 damage it blocks. Remember, the Aegis Shield blocks energy weapons, physical, like, it, it can hit anything, okay? Every weapon damage is being blocked, but only 40,000 damage, which isn't that much if you ask me, especially considering this is already level 8. So uh, it will deplete very quickly. And then the duration is 10 seconds for the speed upgrade and for the Aegis Shield to run. Now, the next thing it does is the Buckshot. So, and that's the actual suppression. It's pretty much like a shotgun that fires three times in a row. 
every buckshot deals around the same damage as a level 6 thunder would do. Um, so 8,300 damage, boom, okay? Boosh, boo. Every shot is like, um, or maybe it's even a level 8 thunder right now on the life server. On the test server, it's probably level 6 because the on the test server, the damage on the thunder is stronger right now. So, um, yeah, it's about uh, a, sh a thunder shooting into your face three times with a two second gap in between as you see here and it causes the suppression the suppression is 75% so the enemy will only be able to deal 25% of the damage uh, of their weapons for five seconds okay the duration is five seconds same as the uh, incursion ability on the other robot and the ability reload time is 17 seconds while the previous one had 23 so that has a quite long reload on the ability at least because <laughs> it's so insane power insanely powerful and that what's that's what it seems like this thing has 17 seconds until it can speed up again activate the Aegis shield again and start with a suppression effect too now this thing is coming at you with four medium weapons and it makes your weapons only deal 25% of their original weapon damage. So not firing once again is smarter than actually firing back unless this robot is coming at you with a very low health. And uh, and then you have, um, yeah, you, for 5 seconds you won't be able to use your firepower. It does 4 meat light weapons will deal a lot of damage to you. you. They can suppress you with like Shredder. They can, uh, sorry, lock you down. Or they can deal insane damage with Gust. Or a mix of both of these things. That's pretty crazy. And then on top of it, it also deals these uh, these thunder shots in your face three times with a two second gap, uh, which ca causes the actual suppression. All right, so um, yeah, that's the next robot called Blitz. And let's have a look at the last one, the third robot. It's called um, Riker uh, or Raker. I think it's called Raker, as in ray, as in a laser beam. It's not actually called Riker. I think it's Raker. So that's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool, man. Like a like a little attack drone or something. Uh, it's a mobile robot that disables enemy weapons from a distance, with which is effective at supporting teammates as well as long-range duels, okay? So this is actually a sniper, okay? Kind of. Uh, the ability is called Glance, and the Raker shoots a laser beam and inflicts a target with supp suppression. So the ability that it will not make him faster the ability will not make him jump the ability will fire a beam so basically this is the first robot you know okay the break in ability has a, si a similar thing but this is an, a robot which ability is actually just a fire like just a f weapon fire pretty much is the ability and um and it, yeah, like I said, it deals damage and it suppresses. Let's see how much damage it does. Level 8, two light weapons and one heavy weapon. So not exactly the best sniper, though. Um, and durability is 118,000 HP at level 8. 49 kph. So actually, maybe it's not actually a sniper. Because with this much speed and only two light weapons and a heavy weapon, I think it's not meant to be a sniper. It's just that the suppression ability works kind of like a sniper ability. And uh, it's called Glance, and what it does, it has a laser shot that deals 1,250 damage at 600 meters range. Okay, it's not really that snipey then, it's uh, more like a long range supporter. And uh, it deals very little damage. So the damage is pretty much neglectable here. It's not really meant to be dealing damage. It's meant to suppress the enemy. And the suppression power is also 90%. So only 10% damage are, uh, you know, st you know uh, keeping on the robot then. For... Five seconds, that's the suppression duration. And the reload time is only eight seconds per charge. Huh. Wait a minute, that, that does that mean... Why is there edited? Uh, why does that... Th does that mean you can do this every eight seconds? Or you can even do it twice in a row? And uh, one more question that I've got right now. I don't know the answer. We're gonna see this tomorrow. Um, is there going to be like the lockdown thing? Like, you know, remember the lockdown? Uh, it has a immunity for being locked down so after you have been locked down for another uh like eight seconds you cannot be locked down again is there something like this with the um suppression effect can you or can you be suppressed right again after your suppression runs out which means that this guy could keep you suppressed for 10 seconds as his you know keep in mind that he has the the ability recharging and he has two charges that you can press and then in 8 seconds, he reloads another charge, so he can actually keep you suppressed 15 seconds. Really? 
Or is there going to be like an immunity between that? Let's see, okay? This is all gonna be something we're gonna test in tomorrow's test server gameplay video. For now, the oops, this is just uh, the early info. Uh, but those are the three robots here. Uh, summarized, Invader, Super Tanky Brawler, um, Blitz, uh, quite okay tanky brawler. And uh, with the uh, shield ability too, so it does get quite tanky. Um, then we have the Raker, as in uh, a, a speedy light... Sp I don't know what to call this thing yet. We need to find a name for these types of robots. Um, and then we have an active beacon marker change, which we're going to see tomorrow too. This is the early test of a video. Sorry for no gameplay today. I wanted to get you the info as early as I could now that I uh, you know, saw it today. But um, yeah, tomorrow is going to be the big day. And like I said, please, if you haven't yet subscribed, guys, please do so now. And uh, yeah, get notified with a notification bell for upcoming video content, live streams, and giveaways. By the way, speaking about a giveaway, I want to make a giveaway within the next week a really big one okay so just a heads up there's gonna be something coming uh, so once again uh, stay uh, yeah stay tuned for it I guess thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for bearing with you guys awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye